In this discussion, you can see write method, which is one of useful ORM method. Also, we will see supported decorator and in which situation we need to override this method. If you missed previous discussion related how to override create method, please check link is given in description. If you don't know why this write method is important, let's update one student profile and try to override that method. Going to browser, here you can see list of 27 records is available. You can see this student profile. If you are adding uh, any information here like student and once you will click to this save button it will call to the up right method so let's see how it's working i'm going to editor here like we have to use like devs and then after we have to use this right and here we have to add one more parameter is values same as create only the difference is the name like uh, instead of create we have to write as a uh, instead of create we have to use this write method name here like again i'm using rtn and call super method of this write the same like uh, school underscore the same thing like school underscore student this class name this class name we have to pass here then after we have to use self and again we have to use write and pass this values parameter and again we have to return this super call like as rtn that's it now I'm just restarting the service and yes one more thing is you can see here this is a decorator here we are not using any decorator for the SAM in version 13 if you are using version 13 you don't need to add any decorator but yes if you are using version 8 to version 12 then you must have to use the decorator name is API dot multi so using this api dot multi and then after write this method you have to declare otherwise it will raise the error i am just removing this one because it is not mandate uh, it is not allowed to use this that decorator because this add api at the rate api dot multi decorator is deprecated in version 13 so i am again just restarting the service go to browser and click to save button so it's easily allowing me to save this profile this student profile again i'm going to editor and i'm just print adding one print statement like values values and then after i'm just adding one more print statement here return data rdn so like create method here this value uh, this value parameter having only dictionary value and the return data uh, return data type is uh, boolean true and false true means it successfully create uh, updated and false means like uh, it it didn't uh, update into database side so i am just restarting the service and going to again in browser and uh, i'm just uh, updating this student name and once I will click to save, if you go to terminal and you can see the values having only one key and value pair in dictionary, it successfully updated into database so it's returned as a true. 
and you can see this values only get updated in uh, updated fields information so right now we just added only student name so it we, we got here in a dictionary as a only name key but what about multiple field changes like you can see here i am just removing this one then after changing currency to like this and changing this school name and adding one more hobby here that's it i'm not just changing these three fields like fees total fees and active once i will click to save button it will hit to the right method again i'm going to pycharm and you can see here that name updated name is xyz currency id is 20 school underscore id is 16 and hobby underscore list we got a 3 and 1 we didn't uh, here you can see this active then after total fees and student fees is not visible it's not appear here because we didn't change and this written statement is true So like this way you can just override this right method and yes one more thing is you can also override any field name before the super call let me give you one more example is values active equal to true i am just removing this print statement it's not necessary right now and i am just restarting the service only no need to upgrade going to browser and edit this field okay i am going to change the student name xyz space student and i am just trying to uncheck this field and click to save you can see it's updated as a xyz student and this active field updated as a true because we override in right method if i'm going to here you can see this name xyz and active equal to false but after we just override here like active equal to true and then it's called the super method of this right method now we are going to another cell here and and just exit and reinitialize this instance okay great now you can see here it is also possible to allow like uh, it is also possible to update multiple uh, records in a single sort using this right method again no need to add any extra decorator compared to this create method like uh, stood underscore list self dot env school dot student and just using this browse method don't worry about this browse method in read and search or a methods it will cover this browse method one two three four and five i'm just assuming like uh, those record set is available inside database but for the double check i'm going to new again terminal and going to inside database select id from school underscore student but 10 12 order by id simply 3 4 5 okay we are using 3 4 and 5 i'm just trying to print here so if we have a record set of this 3 4 and 5 student profile and simply i'm just uh, adding update student fees like uh, stood underscore list 
dot write and here in dictionary format I'm using like total underscore fees equal to 100 but if I'm going to browser you can see this is the third one and you can see here total fees is 4000 for the fourth record we don't have uh, like this prof the student have uh, don't have a uh, total fees right now and for the fifth student profile don't have this total fees I'm just going to here in terminal I'm just getting values as a total fees 100 and it's written as a true because we added here print statement again it's not updated because you can say still it's 00, 0 and 4000 we didn't commit yet so I'm right now I'm just committing that change self dot underscore CR dot commit browser and again going to the second profile it means fourth record you can see 100 100 and you can see here instead of 400 it's now updated as a 100 so using like this way you can update the whole record set using this write method but the sometimes the situation is like this ORM method also allow allow to update this uh, student underscore list record set without this write method like this way stood underscore list dot then after that field name like total underscore fees equal to 3000 so you can see the write method called itself and in dictionary having a total fees as a 300 again I am going to commit and going to here in browser this is a first record like three third one you can see here it's updated like this way again I am going to PyCharm and uh, the main thing is if you want to update one by one record it is also possible let me update using for loop for stood in stood underscore list after we have to use like stood dot total fees equal to stood dot id so stood dot id means it's uh, like record set we have a record set of three four and five so based on that id it's updated as a total fees so you can see total fees three total fees four and total fees for five and i'm just committing this change and again going to browser you can see this is of total fees is four you can see this id is also four five you can see five and you can see here this the first record is a three and id is a three using this way you can also update based on your conditions so now you have to remember is there is no any decorator need to add here in write method use in version 13 but if you are using version 12 or 11 or 10 9 or 8 you must have to add a decorator as a at the red api dot multi otherwise in 13 don't use if you are using let me rise one error multi that's it and i'm going to here and restart the service so you can see here module odoo.api has no attribute multi so while runtime it's it got one uh, error if you are migrating any module and you having like uh, such decorator you can just remove it and simply restart the service so main thing is only one parameter you have to pass as a values 
there is no any decorator and return type is boolean like true and false true means successfully added updated and false means it won't be updated inside database due to some error i hope you understood this right method this code is also available in github you can see in description and if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section and see you in next session